do 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 Josh's Hoarder Corner. All right, so welcome back to Josh's Hoarder Corner, where I have something special to share with you today uh, that revolves around this right here. What we have here is Willie Carlisle. Now, I knew that I was expecting this item, but I had no idea that it was coming from so close to home. I use informed delivery. I stock my packages before they get here. And I knew someone was coming from Westlake, Ohio, but I didn't realize it was coming from Armadillo Tail Recording Company. I first heard Willie Carlisle opening for Meek of the Devil. I was not sure what to expect. Seeing a solo artist opening for Amigo the Devil, who was now touring with the full band, and Willie blew me away. His storytelling, his performance, the amount of different instruments he can play, like, it was a great, great show. Highly recommend. He's on tour right now. I'm thinking he's teasing or contemplating uh, a tour overseas as well. If you get the chance to see him, do not pass it up. In fact, I'm going to share his tour dates that are remaining right here. If you need to go back and hit pause and look at it longer, that's the power of technology for you. So, when I caught his show most recently, uh, being the second time I saw him, he played down the street from Beachland Ballroom at a very strange new Cleveland venue. Uh, Cleveland has venues popping up left and right all the time. Some last, some don't. This one was good for his show, but I would have loved to have seen him at the Beachland, um, as originally planned. He, at his merch table, had uh, I Wake Up Laughing Full of an Old Love, an essay that he wrote, as well as 10 poems. I thought it was really cool that he had items like this at his merch table, aside from just the shirt and things like that. Just stuff that he wrote, that he's sharing, that um, is from the heart. So, there's going to be a link in the description below to my favorite, favorite video of a performance he did. It's an older one, but I love it. Uh, as well as a link to his most recent release that somewhat aligns with this right here. I don't know if there's a live video from this, so I apologize for sharing uh, someone else's version of this song. But I have a feeling that in this community, they all kind of get along. Forgive me, I drew a complete blank trying to remember the name of uh, the YouTube channel that does the videos that I'm going to share. It is Western AF. I'm pretty sure AF stands for Awesomely Fabulous. So, yes, check that video out as well as their many other videos as well. So let's crack this on open. Again, this is from Armadillo Tail Recording Company. And I can't, like I said, I can't believe they're right up the road. That was really cool to see. Joshua Welch, <laughs> little invoice there. Now, when I ordered this a while back, I knew there'd be multiple color of colors avail uh, colors available, but it was you're buying it, we're picking the color. It's a random color, so I don't know what color it's going to be. Inside of this right here. I'm going to read this little blurb. Armadillo Tail Recording Company is an independent recording label specializing in traditional country, folk, and Americana music. Anchored by our flagship, Armadillo Tail presents a series of limited edition 7-inch 45 RPM singles recorded direct to disc. Tossing it in the can, if you will. At the Ernest Tub in Bristol, Virginia, we aim to promote a message of camaraderie and unity through the historic music and the process by which it was made. I love that. The Ernest Tubb store in Nashville was like one of my favorite places to stop. I've heard that it has since closed. That makes me really sad. So I was really happy to see that there was this place in Bristol, Virginia. Now let's see what we got here. What color is it? All right. I can't remember what colors were available. I could cheat and tell you, but I'm not gonna. But we have this nice, looks blue there, but I promise you it is like a minty green now, Willie did perform this song when I saw him in Cleveland, and it is called... <laughs> it's not listed on here? Okay, it's on the other side. I do know what it's called, uh, but I don't know if it was the full title 
My baby sings all of the red-headed stranger when, too she, when she's too drunk to cry. My baby sings all of the red-headed stranger sometimes when she's too drunk to cry. Uh, on here, it's titled, When She's Too Drunk to Cry, All of the Red-Headed Stranger. And then the other side of it is Luzita by Narcisco Martinez. And it's an instrumental. The musicianship on this is insane. I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to take this for a spin. If I can get it back in this. That's like the one thing I hate about vinyl is the sleeves. I always feel like I'm going to destroy the sleeve. So, Armadillo Tail Recording. Going to have to send you a link uh, to their website as well so you can see what other artists they work with. Willie Carlisle. Check him out. He is amazing. And yeah, check the links in the description below and you will find some goodness. I promise you that.